I'll be showing the new Outlook board views, which is part of Outlook in the web calendar. Board view brings together a bunch of project management tools in one place to lay them out in a two dimensional area. And you can have things like files, calendar, tasks, notes, goals, even weather, and you can organize it however you want. So let's get started. I'm here in office.com and I'm gonna click on Outlook. Now in Outlook, we're gonna switch over to the calendar and click right here. Now I'm here in my Outlook calendar and I'm gonna go up to the upper right and drop down the view menu. And you're gonna see this new board option and we'll choose this. Okay, keep everything in one place, calendars, agendas, tasks, other things, let's start. Now by default, my board lays out a few different parts on the page. I have my calendar here, I've got tasks, I can take a note, and then there's some tips. The way this works is it's kind of like a canvas that I can scroll in and out of and add different parts to. If I go down here, this is important, this is how you can zoom in and zoom out. And I'm gonna use the shortcut. So control right back it will zoom me in, and you can see here how it zooms in. And control left bracket, if I hit it a bunch of times, zooms me out. If I click anywhere on this page, I can drag it all around. So it's nice in that it's a two dimensional space. And as we'll see, I can organize it lots of different ways. So those control right bracket and the left bracket are really handy to know where you're at at any given time. Now, first off, I can do things like size these different parts and move them around. So I'll click here on the note and maybe I want to move it over here. I have the tips one I can move over here. I also have my calendar and when you click on any part, not only do you see that the top here, the little toolbar, I can do things like, oh, I want to look at maybe my day or maybe my work week instead. I can also click the three dot menu and have a lot of those same choices. So that same view menu is here and I can resize this if I want. Maybe I want to make this a little bit narrower. I just click here and drag and maybe this one here has all my events that are scheduled. You know what? I want to remove this one from the board. I'll click remove from the board. And you can see that disappears and you can add it back later if you want. I also have my tasks. So this reads from all my tasks that I have in the to do app. I've got a couple tasks going here. Now, in this case, I'm going to move the tips over here. I'm going to move the OneNote note over here. And the OneNote integration is kind of nice because it integrates with the notes feed. I'm going to take a note right here. So I've taken a note. I'll add an image and there's my little note and I can make it a little bit bigger if I want. And note how you can put little chunks on top of each other. So I've moved this one on top of the tips. I can move it around like this. Now what's nice is this integrates with my notes feed. So I'm going to change the color here. Let's make this note purple. And I'm going to open up my notes feed right here. Open the OneNote feed. And here are my different notes. You can see they're already there in the feed. This one got added. Now if I open up OneNote itself, this same note will show up in my notes feed. I'm here in OneNote for Windows 10 and in the upper right, there's this little notes feed. I will click this to open the feed and it pulls in all my notes. So there's the note that I just added from the Outlook board and you can add notes here and they'll always be in your feed. Let's switch back. So you've seen that notes integration, but one of the most powerful parts is you can add all sorts of new things to your board. Now, first off, I'm gonna close my little tips one here. I wanna get this out of the way, remove from board. And now I'm gonna go to add to board, drop this down. And there's some parts here, we'll do show all. So check out all these parts. So first let's try to add a goal. Maybe I have some goals I'm working on. Click this, it adds the little part here and the goals are stored in the calendar app. So maybe I have a goal this week of, I wanna finish my YouTube video. Let's set the date, I wanna finish it by Tuesday and I'm gonna change the color of this so it can match with some of the other things. I'm gonna make this purple as well. And I'm gonna drag this over here and I'm gonna size my note a little bit smaller. Now note that finish my YouTube video also shows up on my calendar as a goal, which is kind of cool. Let's add some more things to the board, drop this down. And this time let's choose file. I can choose different office files and they will show us thumbnails and links on my board. So in this case, I'll scroll down and choose a geography document and click next. And there's my little geography document. I can drag this down. And again, to keep with the theme, I'm going to choose this as purple. And if I click this, it'll launch that document. There's my geography document. So you can add all sorts of files here right onto your board. Let's add a few more things. Drop this down and I'm going to add a clock. It's kind of nice if you're working with another team. I work a lot with Beijing. So I'm going to add Beijing. So I'll always know what time it is there. I'll drag this over here and maybe I'm going to make this one green. Now, if I want to zoom out, I'll do control left bracket and I can zoom out a little bit and you can sort of see how things are laying out and zoom back with that control right bracket. Let's add some more things to the board. I'm gonna drop this down here and now I'm gonna add weather. Maybe I wanna check out the weather in big sky. 
and I might want to leave that above my calendar. Select that. Hey, there's big sky weather. I'm just going to drag this right over my calendar. I can see that any old time. Now I'm going to add a couple more things to the board. Let's add a person. Maybe I want to always check out what Kara Coleman is doing. There's Kara. I can keep track of her. Maybe I'll make this green to match up with the clock above. And this also lets me open up the whole people area. Now let's say I want to lock the board. I want to lock this view. If I click lock view right here, now I can't drag anything around. See, I click here and I drag, nothing moves. So once you have the view that you want, you can lock that view. We'll unlock it in this case, and we'll add one more thing to the board. This time I'm gonna add a collection. This is allowing you to collect a set of things in one place. So I choose collection here. I'm gonna name this collection. This is my important project. So I'll drag my document into here. I'll drag my goal to finish my YouTube video. And I'm also working with Beijing pretty closely. I wanna make sure I always know what time it is. So I'll drag that in here as well. And notice how you can organize different things so I can change the order. Now what collections are nice for is it lets you put them anywhere you want. And they have to be vertical. So I'll move these over here. And I'm gonna make my collection, again, a certain color, nice pink. And you can set a due date. You know, hey, this important project, all my stuff is due by the 25th. So I'm gonna set a nice due date here. Now this collection can be put wherever I want. And maybe if I zoom out by doing control left bracket a little bit, maybe I wanna move my collection way over here on the other side so it's not with my calendar or my notes and other things that are on the board. And you can zoom back in with a control right bracket. So that should give you a quick sense of how Outlook board view works. It's really for personal productivity, organizing your projects, and you have quite a bit of flexibility in adding different things to your board and grouping them and removing them. To go back to your regular calendar view in Outlook, just drop down the board and go back. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest videos I'll be releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell to keep notified for all the latest posts.